Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, today we have episode 3 of my YouTube background design layout tutorial, whatever you want to call it. And basically today we're just going to be designing a third background uh, for the series. Uh, today's actually, uh, I'm actually not going to be working on a part in the background, a lot of you have been requesting that and I completely understand. Uh, so we're actually not going to be working on something with a banner at the top. So. Uh, uh, we're going to kind of take it down a notch and just be on a standard layout and this is something that I'll quickly come up with uh, this is what it's going to somehow look like, it's kind of the theme this is not going to be what I want to create because in fact I don't actually like it that much I'm not too keen on it, uh, it looks a bit too messy, not a bit of construction uh, but anyway we'll go ahead and I'll try and improve that in the actual one because I thought the longer I take on that the more perfect it'll be and then I always come up with something beforehand it'll be better than what I actually do in the tutorial so hopefully if I don't actually do it originally uh, I've got nothing to compare by and therefore it'll be a lot better yeah if that makes sense uh, but anyway before we get started uh, you can skip this bit if you want but um, uh, I've been struggling for a lot of tutorial ideas recently and uh, because I've been requesting a quite a few things what I've been asking and I haven't been getting a lot back I've been getting a few um, so basically if you guys have any tutorial suggestions go ahead and follow me on Twitter or Facebook or post in the comment section below uh, for an example of a tutorial that you want to see uh, be specific, give links if you want, if you if you ever see something you're like oh I want how to do that, oh, God, I wonder how he did that you know uh, link me it, don't use YouTube messages because I do not read them anymore purely because of the spam that I receive um, so don't bother sending me that. Post in the comments or follow me on Twitter or Facebook because I pretty much read it. Well, I do read everything on there, uh, Twitter especially. Uh, so go ahead, hit me up on there, and uh, hopefully we can get something uh, that works for you. And obviously, you if you like it, you won't be just the only ones. It'll obviously help a lot of other people out there as well. Uh, so killing a lot of birds with one stone. <laughs> uh, but anyway, without further ado, we'll get started, shall we? Um, this is the YouTube background template design. This is the new layout. I'll go and delete this vignette thing going on here. Uh, background, I'm just going to create, uh, turn off color and make a gray overlay. I'm going to make it radial. Now I'm going to reverse the black and white. Uh, I'm just going to drag it up a little bit, just so it's at the topish where the text would actually be. Um, change the angle down to about 70 maybe. 70, that's looking okay. And it's a bit too light for my liking, so I'll take it to a white, just down to a gray. Just so it's a nice subtle kind of green going in from these from the edges here. Uh, we'll have a flute she built. Uh, mid tone grey will do okay. Okay. And add okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so we've got that all sorted. In fact, I'm going to take the module. And I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it for now. Uh, so we're going to make a new letter. And we're going to get this text. Now, I don't know who what you guys want, whether you want me to do text on Cinema 4D, maybe import it in the future. Um, so I'm going to ask that now. Uh, but for this tutorial, I'm just making some basic 3D text in Photoshop. Uh, a lot of you probably wouldn't already know how to do this, but uh, we'll go ahead and do it anyway. We'll go ahead and type Chrome Designs. Change the font. I'm going to use the font Bank Gothic. And I'm going to change the size to about 100. And I'm going to change this uh, spacing to minus one, negative 150 like so there we go that is looking good so I'll go ahead and uh, that's fine. I'm going to leave it there for now while I do this bit we're going to go ahead and make it 3D like so zoom out and I'm going to go ahead and I said go ahead loads of times now anyway uh, we'll go ahead <laughs> oh, I'm really joking for this bit uh, yeah so um, we'll make the bottom color greenish, a uh, dark green, kind of slimy, not really nice, and the light more of a pungent green, like so. That's looking good. Okay, and let's go ahead and make it 3D. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Buzz. Uh, we'll duplicate that on the bottom one. We'll go ahead and go Control T, and if you hold Shift and Alt and drag from the top corner and drag it inward you'll see that it kind of creates another it indents the text to give a 3D kind of effect like so and that's looking good and obviously you want it to be a little bit more so you'll duplicate it again and go on the bottom layer and just repeat the process we'll go and oh, wrong keys there and drag it in once more for good luck there we go okay so uh, 
that's that will sort of go ahead and merge them two layers rasterize and merge and I'm going to go to uh, on the um, blending options and got a color overlay and I'm going to change the color to black and I'm going to lower the opacity down to about 70% just so you can in fact maybe a little bit more 50 just so you can see a little bit of the green behind it there we go so that's okay so I'll go ahead and select both of these drag it down 90 degrees hold shift so it's accurate and make it just here just along the side as you see obviously the gradient actually alters so I need to um, change the way of that I believe it's going to be 180 180 yeah just so the dark colors at the bottom are looking good uh, in fact on this top layer that we just had open I'll make sure it's the top one go to inner glow change the blend mode to overlay and change the color to white and that basically highlights some points of the text uh, you maybe lower the size down as well just a little bit to two just so you kind of get more of the outline or if you want it to be in the middle have it turned you know so whatever, whatever, whatever you want uh, I'm gonna stick with something about three that is good for me obviously remember everything is tutorial you can change the way you want I'm just letting you know it's there pretty much and you can follow me if you want but as I said it's your choice uh, go ahead and make an outer glow on the back layer change the color to black uh, okay and we'll increase the size as well along with it just so it makes gives adds a bit more depth to the text it kind of makes it stand out 3d-ish more so if that kind of makes sense um, but yeah we've got a basic text going on and that looks quite sleek and clean the way it is uh, but we're gonna go ahead and really grunge it up like so so to do this we're gonna go and we're gonna be using a lot of brushes now the brushes I will put a link they're all in my graphics pack uh, so you can go ahead and download my I think it was my 8k bloody hell 8k that was a long time ago uh, my 8000 subscriber graphics pack and all the brushes are linked in there and I've still used the same ones I don't think I've downloaded any since then so I'll go ahead and put that in the description download them if you want you'll be able to see what ones I'm using I don't have a clear idea what I'm going to use yet uh, I'll just see and you know whatever takes my fancy so it's going to head and make a new group anyway and I'm going to call this Splat Capitals Sport. I'm going to spell it wrong, doesn't matter. Uh, create a layer in that, like so. And I'm going to go to brushes, uh, go sideways. And these are all my brushes here. I don't even know what half of them are. Uh, so it's going to be a bit of trial and error. I think Addy Splat was quite a good one. Okay, I think this one I was just on. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and change the color to a kind of greenish, like so and you can just literally spam these however you want uh, change it up as well don't remember don't use the same one all the time uh, get a really nice thick grunge kind of pattern behind it maybe not more of a sponge like that but yeah go ahead and spam them about obviously you can use different brushes if you have them I'm gonna actually gonna change mode load this layer behind the module so it doesn't actually come on top of the white um, obviously you can use separate layers if you want but I'm gonna trust myself and use my first instinct and hopefully they'll all be alright so uh, maybe, maybe a new layer I like to make a new layer probably about every 10 splats or so uh, just so it doesn't completely clog down the side um, aggressive tattoo you know you can add in you can add some original things in here mm -hmm, like so lower the pasty down get some get some nice kind of funky things going on for example this is a uh, this is a kind of a grunge no, I'll leave the one at the top. This is a grunge kind of background, so everything that you do, uh, I don't think it will really look out of place uh, unless it's like uh, cleanish or it doesn't go with a feel. Uh, but like I said, this is a nice messy kind of look, so just spam everything you want on. And uh, probably the more random it is, the better it'll look as well. Uh, just by yeah, uh, I've got these lightning strokes going on here. Oh, these are too these are too big. That's what she said. Uh, so we could go ahead and is this a new layer? This is a new layer. So go ahead and put that in there and we have control T and I'm just gonna change it round this way. Just so we've got some nice lightning text coming out and that looks pretty cool. Pretty suave, eh? Uh, I'm in a pretty random mood. Um yeah. Uh we'll go ahead go ahead. 
Oh, I wish I had a palm every time I said that word. I wish. I wish, I wish, I wish. Uh, trying to find some brushes here. Maybe not the most organized. Double grunge circles, you know. Get, oh, get some circles in here, eh? Mm-hmm. That's oh. That would look good. Hmm. That's another thing I like to do. I like to just spam and then control Z, spam and then and just kind of see what looks good. I'll leave it with that. And lovely pasty as well. Okay. Now it's nothing good for my, mainly most of the brushes, I believe, uh, for the side. One other thing. Uh, what you can do is make a new layer and a final. Uh, I'm going to make some dots. So let's go to basic brushes and OK. And create the size to however you want. This is going to be a bit too big. I'm going to use probably be around uh, the 50 mark, 60, 50. And OK. Hardness, I'm going to put on 100. You can on zero if you want, you know, it's whatever you want. Uh, but I'm just going to go to. Uh, this tab down here. If you don't have that brush selection option, just go to um, Window and make sure you've got Brush selected. So you've got this. We're going to go to Scattering, and the Scattering I'm going to add all the way up to I think that's a thousand percent. And I'm going to have the count on minus. Maybe go to some Shape Dynamics. Um, add some size. Jet, get some random sizes going on. And as far as everything else is concerned, that looks okay. I'm going to add a color dynamics as well, and I'm going to change the color from here to a nice vibrant green. And I'm going to change the brightness just down just a little bit. And hopefully, this will give us a different variations of green as it does. Um, yeah. There we go. What about all that up? Got some nice dark ones going on. Uh, so, add, it, add the brightness just somewhere in the middle. Uh, that looks okay for me. Obviously, change it if you want. Uh, add it all the way to get some really dark circles in there. Yeah, so whatever floats your boat. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and just draw some of these in, like so. I don't want these actually too claustrophobic. I didn't actually like it. I thought there was too many last time. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That's looking okay. Uh, so maybe make this overlay. Oh, maybe make the layer style overlay. Is that looking good? Nah, I don't like that. Not at all. Maybe just have it normal and just lower the opacity. Uh, yeah, that's okay. That is okay. Um, one final thing that would maybe just improve and add to the grunginess effect. Uh, if we make a new layer on this background tab, and we go to um, uh, make the colors black and white here for now. And go to filter render, and I'm going to render some clouds like so. And if you just make this basically overlay, it will appear in the gray section, is kind of where the text is going to be. And I'll just highlight some things and add to the whole, add to the whole messy feel. Uh, but another thing that I actually just kind of figured I was working on earlier uh, is if I put this to the very top, so it's basically on top of everything in the project. And I set it to overlay. It would overlay onto everything, which is, which gives a good effect, and also on the text as well. Uh, so you get some kind of displays, kind of different colours going on there, uh, which may look quite cool. Uh, but another thing, if I went to hue and saturation, and I had the hue and saturation at the top, and I just went to colorize, you can see that everything there immediately makes a more kind of uh, solid feel, which I've seen quite a lot about, especially in kind of Call of Duty backgrounds and that, and that actually gives a quite a nice effect. Makes it kind of all the same, same old, and maybe it looks a little bit less tacky than that from the vibrant green. Um, so I actually quite like that. And obviously, once you've done all that, you know you can change the color if you do, and you don't like it and you want red, uh, go ahead and change it if you want pink or blue. But it looks quite cool. Uh, but just say you want it with green or something, you know you can keep it like that, which looks quite cool. Um, in my opinion, or if you click this little black and white circle down here, it will lay on just to the cloud. So basically, it will change the black and white clouds to black. I'm getting a text. Uh, the black and white clouds to black and green, which um, again is that, that's what you want, you know. Go ahead, but in my eyes, I think that looks the best. It gives a more kind of clean feel. 
uh, you can change it whatever color you want as I said and also you can lower the opacity down as well so it does say that, say that's a bit too much and a bit too all the same so you lower it down maybe get more hinted out texts and kind of embosses it a little bit more and obviously zero and a bit to what it was so you know you can find the right opacity and the right mix between the two and come up with a perfect background for your liking um, but judging on the basis of that that is pretty much it <coughs> apologies uh, what you can do is you can just copy that over all the brushes and everything uh, back over to the right hand side and get the same uh, the text going down the other way just by transforming it I'm not going to spend an extra five minutes doing that uh, because I'm sure most of you know how to do that um, but anyway yeah I'm pretty sure that's about it also I'm thinking about doing a clean kind of normal background next uh, but like I said, if you have any tutorial suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook. In fact, you don't even have to follow me, you know, you can just post on my wall or or tweet me if you really want, uh, if you don't want to follow me. And just say say what you want to see, give an example if you have one, and it'd be great. And I'd love to go around and um, actually help uh, people in exactly what they want to do, because I don't really know what you guys want. Um, so, so, yeah, you can do that. And like I said earlier... Um, if if you want some if you want if you want to know how to do something you will not be the only one that wants that so you could be the voice of uh, other people and you could help out a lot of people on this channel that are maybe looking to strive to create something um, and that would be that'd be great so as far as that's concerned in fact one last thing while I'm looking at it I'm getting a bit OCD main body I maybe change this to black just to increase the appearance of it for now like so uh, yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> but I don't, I don't even like that. <laughs> but anyway, that's all from me, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I've been kind of with Chrome Designs. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if this helped you at all. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this video. I'm sure I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully in a few days or a week or so. Hopefully not longer than that. Um, but yeah, until then, goodbye.